Hi there, I'm Henry. I'm one of the founders of Reclaim. And today I'm going to be showing you a pretty exciting update to our planner. This is one of our most requested features, I think maybe of all time. Um, and it is the ability to uh, kind of view your planner uh, and the, specifically the days of the week in a number of different ways. Um, we've had a bunch of requests for this feature, as I mentioned. Uh, some folks have wanted to do things like exclude weekends from their planner so they just see their weekdays. Some folks have wanted to see uh, a four-day view like you see in Google Calendar. Um, and similarly, as you can see on my screen right here, some folks have wanted to see things like show me you know, the next nine days so I can see kind of the next couple days of my upcoming week. Um, and we built something uh, that we think is going to satisfy all the scenarios that we've heard about. Um, and I'm going to show you how to use it today. So uh, you're probably already familiar with uh, this top section here. You're probably used to seeing a couple buttons here for like this week and day. Um, we've now moved that into this little gear icon here. This is where you're also going to see your view as you, view as others info, as well as what your starting day of week is set to in Google Calendar. And just as a reminder, uh, you change this setting within your Google Calendar settings and will automatically pick that up and use it as your starting day of week in the planner. Um, but the most exciting thing here is this new planner view dropdown. And you can see here, we've got a couple different sections, right? We've got rolling and fixed. Uh, rolling is for when you want to kind of just see the next several days, irrespective of your starting day of week, right? So if today is Thursday and you want to see the next five days, um, you're going to see starting on Thursday, uh, the next five days. If you want to see four days, you'll see starting on Thursday. So it's not going to snap to your starting day of week. It's always going to be relative to now. Um, this is really useful. Uh, if you want to just kind of like really just focus on today and focus on what's coming. Um, and, uh, that's what those rolling options are for. The fixed option is really for those scenarios where you want to do things like, for example, exclude week, uh, weekends. And so you can go in here and exclude weekdays and it's always going to be snapped to that starting day of week, but you can see here, I no longer see Saturday and Sunday. Uh, similarly, if I want to see my full, this is kind of the classic view that you're probably used to seeing in the planner. This is how you get there. Um, this is a fixed seven day window. And then I'd say really, uh, excitingly, there is this nine day view and the nine day view is really cool because in addition to seeing your full seven day week, you're also now able to see the next couple days of your next week. And so not only can you see those days, you can also do things like, Hey, I want to move this task over to Tuesday. So you can now drag things across weeks. Um, this isn't like drag it across multiple weeks. We still have to kind of work through that workflow. Um, but this does give you the ability to do one of the most common versions of this, which is I've got something scheduled on Thursday or Friday. I'm not going to get to it till Monday. I'd like to just move it over and make sure it gets scheduled there. Um, so again, really, really exciting update. We're super excited to get it out to you. Um, and it is now live in your account. So go ahead and start playing with it. Um, just like all of the other uh, settings in the planner, like the sidebars and everything else, this persists across sessions. So if you've set it to nine days, the next time you reload the page, it's going to be nine days again. Uh, there's also permalinks in the URL. So you can uh, share, you can bookmark the planner. If you want to bookmark it with different ranges, you could do it that way. Um, but we'll save this stuff across sessions. So even if you log out of Reclaim or close it down, we'll still remember your setting. So you shouldn't have to set this to anything different if you've always got kind of one view that you want to see. Um, so even more to do here in the future, um, things like month view have come up. And that's definitely something we're, uh, we're looking at potentially doing in the future. Um, but we think this is going to help with 99.9% .9 of the use cases that we've heard about. And uh, as I said, we're excited to get it out to you. All right. So continuing along the theme of planner improvements, uh, we have a second exciting and highly requested update. A lot of you in the past have asked for the ability to uh, basically get more control over uh, your habits and your tasks and your smart meetings uh, directly from the planner. And specifically, we've heard a lot of requests for the ability to edit uh, those things directly. And so not like just take action on them, you know, things like, uh, starting things early or locking them, but literally actually editing the underlying rules. Um, and today I'm excited to announce that, uh, you can now edit, um, your tasks, habits, really anything, uh, that you set up and reclaim. That's what we would call a smart event, uh, directly, uh, from the planner. And so I'm going to show you a, a few ways that you can do that today. Um, so, uh, if you click on an event, you know, this is one that represents a task that I've synced over from ClickUp. 
um, you can see I've now got this little edit button and this will bring up the actual form for the task. So I can go in and I can change things like which hours it's scheduling during, I can change its dates, which you can do directly from the sidebar or you can do from here as well. Um, I can change how much time I need. I can change the description. And what's really neat about this is that, you know, you kind of have this edit view directly in the planner. So you can now kind of see the impact that edits are going to have on your schedule. So for example, if I said, hey, you know, I actually now want to spend uh, no less than, you know, three hours at a time and no more than five hours at a time, this is probably going to change my schedule pretty significantly. Um, and you can see how that happens in real time. You, I, I'm expecting that, you know, those tasks are now going to remove and it's very, very likely that they're going to get pushed into next week. I can see now I've got this thing scheduled on Monday. Um, so pretty interesting little way of kind of like making changes to the rules that you've set out for tasks or for habits, um, and seeing the impact directly on the planner, which is really, really exciting. Um, you can do the same thing for smart one-on-ones. Uh, of course I can go in and change, uh, how they schedule. I can change the ideal day and time, conference information, descriptions, location, all that stuff. Uh, and then habits as well. I can go in and change, uh, you know, information about these habits that I couldn't change previously. Um, so pretty exciting stuff. We're, uh, we're, we're definitely making a lot of good investments in the planner. Uh, and this is one of the things that we're excited to bring to you. Um, so as always, if you have feedback or questions, you can reach out to us in support. Uh, and we're excited to bring this to you. Thanks.